Hey Mecha fans, welcome back to the channel. This is Gunmetal Joe and today we will be reviewing the bootleg edition of the Immortal Justice. I'm kind of disappointed that this is not a water slide decals. The plastic quality is not consistent as we have seen with Waymay model or JMS model. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me fucked up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of pavement just to make a stand. The articulation is on par with the Rising Freedom High Grade Edition. For this version, we do get a lot of mold issues. So we need to trim down some of the plastics to make it work. This scratch piece needs to be glued for it to stay in place. The Xing Feng Shea model has better mold as you can see on the eyes here. And this Gao Gao model uses a glossy finish which shows imperfections on the actual mold details this shoulder part is loose you might need to put some plastic cement for it to stay and this one doesn't stay well when played around
extra effort is needed to remove these knob marks. If you're expecting JMS or WMA quality, you'll be disappointed. By the way, I added panel lines and markers to spice up the details. The backpack offers several range of articulation for transformation and posing options. The weapons can be stored within the actual mobile suit itself. This thruster part keeps falling off so you might need to glue this one in place. This model kit stands at 16 centimeters tall. SNAA Gawain 1 is to 144 scale. Rising Freedom 1 is to 144 scale. The Immortal Justice specializes on close combat based on the VMFX parts that are showing on the actual build. Xing Feng Shei Rising Freedom has better plastic quality and mold. This one uses a glossy finish, which is synonymous with the Titi Hongli brand. Due to the issues that was encountered building this model kit, I could not recommend this one as a must-buy. I would recommend getting the original Bandai release. This is only recommended for those guys who have built a lot of bootleg models. So buyer's discretion is advice. Thank you for reaching this far. If you like this kind of content, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you on the next review.